Um, hello there, wowers. Today, let's play some Yugi Mans. I'm glad you're taking some time off. I hope it is some time off. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if it's time off. Have you guys ever gone traveling before by yourself? It's very stressful. I've done it exactly two other times. Three other times. All of the times were to California, and I hate California because of it. Hopefully Florida's better. Traveling by yourself can be super fun, though. <laughs> I get lost easily, and I get incredibly frustrated if I get lost. It's like a, 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 neur a neurotic trait. So, like, I don't like it. <laughs> Why is California so bad? Um, because they don't, their roads don't go in straight lines. Like, if you want to go around the corner, you're going to have to, like, drive two blocks to the left to curve and make a U turn to go right. And, like, the traffic, because it's so populated, is insane. Do you hate yourself? Just go fishing alone with your thing? Texas is like that too? Whereas where I live in Arizona, the roads, straight lines, perfect grid. I love it. It's because like California is like, there's a bunch of hills and stuff and they have to like curve around them. Thanks for the sub, Izar Ozori. I almost got lost for four hours, best day of my life. If I get lost, I get stressed out. That's why traveling is very um, stressful for me. <gasps> I don't need this anymore. I told you don't get lost then. I get lost all the time. It's going to happen. 100%. GPS? <laughs> get lost with the GPS. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Thanks for the sub, Boxhead. Lost in your eyes. The thing is, like, when I take a GPS, I don't 100% trust the direction, so I sometimes just kind of do my own thing. And I always get lost because of that. If I just followed it perfectly, I'm sure I'd be fine, but sometimes, like, I just don't think it's giving the correct direction, and I do my own thing, and it, I always just get lost because of it. Are you talking lost in a city or lost in a. Wait, what? Lost, lost, or lost in a city? Either way. You get lost, but you don't trust the GPS. I have, I'm impulsive, okay? I understand my problems. I do try to fix them. I've been doing better. I've been trusting my GPS more. So what I was gonna do was build this really fun deck. You guys are gonna love it. Oh wait, one second. <gasps> Thanks for the gifted sub, Psychescape14. Edit the deck. The GPS is just gaslighting you? Exactly. Wait, how do I clear this deck out? Uh, you can use any cards, right? There's no ban list. I can just make a deck. It doesn't really matter because like, they don't let you change anything. Okay, so the deck I was going to play was Floodgate Runic. You guys want to see Floodgate Runic? I think you do. <laughs> okay, I go. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna have some fun today. Uh, I'll even play one runic allure. Uh, can you show me all your royals, Mr. Logs? <gasps> all of my royals? How do you do that? Hmm. Ooh, ghost sister. 
<laughs> Holy crap. <gasps> Ooh, branded fusion. Ooh, the ultimate slayer. I can't believe you put Innocent Duelist against this deck. No, don't worry. This deck is hilarious. I have three cards left. I have a Royal Ghoster Trick. Trick or treat. Hmm. Ooh, I love my Royal Underworld Goddess. Ooh, a Solemn Strike. Card of Demise? Uh... I think I'd rather play two copies of... <gasps> Thanks for the sub, Kid Death. Kid3288. The gifted sub, I mean. So many royals. I got a royal finish in the dear servant in the process of trying to build my magician's Dogmatica deck. Speaking of which, thanks for the Dogmatica engine made easy video. <gasps> You're welcome, Ozoiths. Izaza, Ozia, haha. Oh my god. So, like, I have a video on the sprite engine. And I was, like, wondering why my editor is taking so long to finish it. And they finally sent me a video today. And I was like, oh, finally, because I have the ad spot I need to add to it. So I looked into it and I was like, uh oh. The video they sent me was an unknown side of Yu-Gi-Oh! So I went and I checked my files and I never sent the Sprite Engine video off. I was like, no wonder they were so late! I never actually sent up a fucking video to work on! So that's what I was dealing with today. I was like, uh-oh. Uh-oh, I finished that video five days ago. The setup, and I forgot to... I just forgot to send it. Thanks for the gifted subs, Boxhead. That's me. Why are you guys gifting subs today? You guys never give subs. You guys want to see Runic Floodgates that badly? Because I love this deck. This deck is my best friend. Rest in pizza? <gasps> are you going to be shrimping for Meowie's voice? You guys want to hear a new voice line I got? He's really something. He's a work of art. And I respect it so much. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> the one I clipped? Yeah, good job, Nior. There was something else. Oh, I know what I was going to add to this. You guys want to see the best tech ever? These guys are all dark, right? Dark fairy. I think it's a dark spellcaster, but it should be fine. This card right here. When this card is normal or special summon, target up to two cards in your opponent's graveyard, banish them. Then send the same number of cards to the top of their deck to the graveyard. They cannot attack the turn you act with this effect, which doesn't matter because I don't attack anyway. Because I'm playing Runics. Runic Floodgate. Mill. Okay. Now I just need to fill up my extra with other stuff. Um, level two, level three, level four. We can add in this card, this card, this card. What are they? They're all darks. No lights. I already have the light one in here. Unicorn. And this one. Add in Vayner of Darkness just for the lols? That would screw myself over. I can't do that. I can love Runics, me too. Runic Floodgate Mill. <gasps> oh yeah, they, they introduced a new one. I of course bought them immediately. Kaiser Colosseum is amazing? Oh yeah, Kaiser Colosseum would be good too. It's not a very good going second floodgate though. Copy from my deck. Yes, I'd like to copy from my deck. Runic floodgate mill. All right, let's go have some fun. I Binobi. 
What is your win condition? My win condition is to mill my opponent out. Because all the runic cards mill. <gasps> Ooh, going first. I've been playing Gren Maju Macrocosmos. I love Gren Maju decks. Can you synchro Bicorn Mill <laughs> using runic monsters? <laughs> I think it specifically requires a beast tuner, right? And a non beast monster? Hi, Dulogs. How's Miwa? Uh, I don't know. Ask her. Runic Fountain. Immediately. Activating Max C. They're going to activate Max C in response. Oh, I can just do this. I can just activate this in response to your Max C. Um, special summon a Runic Monster from the extra deck. Yeah, going first makes me feel alive. My heartbeat in hyperdrive. Let's see, which one should I send out? Oh, I want to gain some life points. Activate its effect. Uh, um, how come this didn't proc? Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. Add Runic Allure to my hand. Activate Runic Allure. They have one card in the grave. I think it's best to save this. Your heartbeat is in hyperdrive. Excellent. What going second cards with Runic's playthrough? Mm, nothing. They can't really go second very well. Unless you build towards it. <sighs> well, just very well doesn't mean they can't play going second at all. Elemental Heroes? Oh, I just realized I didn't draw into a single Floodgate. Is it weird that I haven't touched Yu-Gi-Oh in forever, but I keep coming back to watch your streams? Yeah, how come you're not playing Yu-Gi-Oh? If I'm not playing a video game, I don't watch streams of that video game ever. Add a hero card from your deck to your hand? I'd rather negate Ferris, to be honest. Just in case they don't have it. Did you enjoy your Dragonflight raid? No, I didn't make it max level in time. I failed. I'm a big failure. I usually negate increase. Vision hero increase? Ooh. I watch Genshin streams, but I don't play Genshin anymore. Oh my god, this bitch. Seriously? You ha polymerization into DPE? God damn it. I found you on YouTube and that you're funny. Been around for months now. Why, thank you, space business. <laughs> I try my best. I am a wower, after all. Wow, he hard went into I wasn't expecting him to hard go into DPE, okay? That was definitely unexpected. You prefer going first or second? Most decks like to go first. This one definitely does. I'm gonna get DP'd by that hard cast. Crusader. Uh oh. I'm hamboned. Hopefully they don't get another card that can pop my fountain. Target one effect monster to stop their stuff. Cross Crusader is going to bring back Malicious. Wait, what? It searches? What the hell? Oh, it already brought it back and then it attributed. There's Ferris. This is the card I was trying to stop. Oh my god, they have DP. So if I try to stop this, they're going to destroy my fountain. I think it's a card or effect that targets a runic card on the field or control a set card you control. Banish this card and negate that vision if you do destroy the card. Damn it, I should have went into Enna. Now they're totally going to pop off. 
Activate this. Target one effect monster your opponent controls. DPE doesn't target moment. Yeah, now is the time for them to chain DPE to pop fountain. <gasps> what, they're not? Oh, I guess it does start in a new chain. They don't know what other card I have in my hand. But even then. Gets negated. Activate fountain. I'm not sure why I didn't let me use fountain last time. DP is finally the good guy. Don't root for him. You guys are supposed to... Oh my god, he didn't use it. Why didn't you use it? Now I'm going to draw three cards. Oh my god, I didn't draw into a single runic. Uh-oh. If they get enough damage on board, I will lose this turn. They let it resolve? Yeah, they did. Now I have all my floodgates. Go DPE, your best friend. It is my best friend. Hey, Mr. Logs, are you interested in participating in MBT's Best Yugi Tubers of 2022? I believe you can win the best newest streamer. Oh, <gasps> yes, everybody. Vote for me. Dang, you're kind of dead. I'm trying my best. Hazukashi. Wait, why are they using it now? <laughs> oh, did they not know? Did they think I could have negated him this whole time? All right. Uh, thanks for your prime sub, Lemarshin Hazukashi. No, no Hazukashi. I'm winning. Thanks for the bits. I'm Mr. Ryan. Love you, logs. Why, thank you. What was that? Is your VTuber model from Yu-Gi-Oh card? First of all, I'm not a VTuber. And second of all, yes, from Mother Spider. Oh my god, you've got to be fucking shitting me. Oh my god. Okay, VTuber. I'm not a VTuber, Lily Koizumi. Also, thanks for the Prime Sub, Elysira95. One, two, three. Did you know one of the runics is a beast type, so all you need is a level 4 tuner for Bicorn Mill? Plus your Synchro, it frees you up for an extra deck monster zone. <gasps> the tag would disagree. Are you fucking kidding me? They hit the one floodgate that would allow them to continue to go? Wait, let me read that again. Did you know if one of the runics is a beast type, so all you need is a level 4 tuner for beast by corn meal? Plus, after you synchro, it frees up your extra monster zones for other runics? Wait, what? I gotta look into this. If that's true, then I'll play that instead of this deck. I can't believe they hit the one fucking floodgate that could allow DPE to come back. You've got to be fucking kidding me. I mean, uh, f hecking kidding me. <laughs> they can just play under both of these, no problem. <laughs> They're playing fucking... <laughs> oh my god. All dark warrior monsters. All fucking dark warrior monsters. I love you, Mr. Logs. Why, thank you. But my god, how did he hit the one fucking floodgate that could have stopped him? If he just hit these other two floodgates, not goddamn fucking... There can be only one. A shame scoop? I would never shame scoop. Three questions here. Where are you going? Are you going to have fun on your trip? And are you okay, Mr. Logs? Okay, where are you going? I'm going to a convention in Florida. I forget what it's called because I'm bad with names. Otherwise, I would tell you. I think it's like Animaru, Animaru, something Christmas. Uh, are you going to have fun on your trip? I'm definitely going to try. A VTubers convention? I am going to meet some VTubers there, that's true. Otherwise, I wouldn't be going. <laughs> I think you're just going to randomly go to a convention in Florida for no reason. Holiday Matsuri? I think that's what it's called. That sounds familiar. Um, And are you okay? No. I'll be good, though. Team Rose and me fan club convention win. <gasps> Dude, that reminds me. This morning, I was totally freaking it. Like, I was 
a huge bundle of stress. And I kept trying to, uh, whatchamacallit, I, I had to do so much meditation in order to get my mind under control. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to put on some positive affirmation stuff, because that worked for me last time. And I saw Rosie was streaming, I just listened to that instead, and I was like, immediately she made a joke and it made me laugh, and I was like, oh my gosh, she's so good. So I just listened to Rosemary for like four hours. And I got so much stuff done. Anxiety? No, 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 I'm just, um... I don't think it's anxiety. Rosemary's hilarious and relaxing, exactly. Gotta thank Rosemary. No, no, it's just like my mind just keeps wandering. Where it's like, um... I think about... Ro Rose withdrawals from Rosemary not good content? Wait, wait. Withdrawals from not enough Rosemary content? No, what happens is, like, there's just a million things going on in my head at once. Like, of all the things I need to do. I just feel like, oh my god, it's too much. It's like... Here. It's like, oh no, I have to, like, edit clips. I have to make thumbnails. I have to put together some shorts for my editors. I have to, like, you know, plan out Yu-Gi-Oh decks. I have to start planning shorts for the WoW channel. I have to like train the WoW dude. I have to compile my WoW footage. I have to organize stuff for the trip. You know, I had to like write stuff down for that. I had to buy some stuff. I was like, oh no, do I have like all my passwords and stuff? I have to set up my new laptop. But what do I need to set up my new laptop? What if I forget to do something? So it's just like a whole bunch of things. I just kept like. I, I just need to like calm myself down so I can just focus on one task at a time because my brain is trying to tackle them all at once. That's all it was. It wasn't anxiety. It was just like a, you know, a stress thing. What about trying battle trap runics? <gasps> I love battle traps. Do you think infinity tracks is a good archetype? <gasps> Thanks for the thousand bits box head. Infinity traps a good archetype? No, they're fun though. I love the Infinite Trap Mega Clops. He's one of my favorite Waking the Dragon targets. I made a Crook Cooked Fire Prison Runic. <laughs> you can't play Fire Prison Runic because you need your field spell. Runics are garbage without the field spell. Sometimes you just get sad it's not terrible or incurable, but it happens. Oh, I also was sad like yesterday. Like I was watching um, Chainsaw Man. And it was like a, I don't know if you guys are watching Chainsaw Man, but like there's this one dude and this, this one person dies and he was sad and he was crying in his hospital room. And I was like, oh man, relate, I relate. Oh my God, getting overwhelmed and freaking out. You're just like me. I do the exact same thing. Yeah, I was just like uh, getting, I just couldn't get my head in order. Like I know meditation techniques to do that. So I'm usually fine. It's just I had to keep doing them. And I was like, you know, I, I can't spend every five minutes doing like a meditation technique so buy corn mill one beast type tuner plus one more non-tuner monsters <gasps> it's just a beast type tuner Ooh. sometimes i think that you're a better version of me well i the only mental problem i have is anxiety and that's not anxiety Hydrate redeem. <laughs> Hydrate redeem. <laughs> oh, I gotta stop doing my laugh. People are making fun of my laugh. But I have to, uh... I have to be cool and mysterious. Runic bicorn meal? Yeah. Runic bicorn meal. Laugh more, it's great? No, I can't. People are making fun of my laugh. And now I'm self-conscious about it. So I can't... I can't do my laugh anymore. Who's making fun of your laugh? It was Aku Miaui. She was making fun of my laugh. So now I can't do it anymore. Haters don't deserve your energy? Well, I mean, if if if, if that person was doing it, then... Uh, now the laugh is great. We love your laugh? <gasps> you see, I tell her that, and she's like, you're lying. They're just lying to you. And I was like, wow, maybe she's right. Maybe my chat just gasses me up. Oh, well. Hmm, if I go into Vicorg Mill, he's level 7, <laughs> so... <laughs> I need a Beast-type tuner. Where the fuck are the Beast-type tuners? I love your laugh. Why, thank you, Lily Koizumi. But Akumiaoi said it was creepy. 
Don't get gaslit by Aku Miaoi. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm going to keep doing the laugh. I hope you guys don't think I'm actually serious. Because I say everything in the same tone of voice. So, uh, <laughs> it's like, oh wait, I'm going a little bit too hard on this bit. I forgot what I was doing. I was looking for a tuner. Beast type tuner. Okay, I remember now. Okay, these are all the beast type tuners. Ooh, I can play Air Bellum. Aqua Meow is right. We don't give Meow about her saying mean things. We love our laugh. <gasps> you guys want to hear this? You laughing after saying that kind of gave it away, to be honest. No, I'm super serious. Oh, I'm so sad all the time, guys. He's really something. He's a work of art. And I respect it so much. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> she knows I'm funny. Lots of look on your trip. Why, thank you. Don't go. I downloaded OBS. If the uh, I'm going to bring my mic. If the hotel internet is good enough, which it probably won't be. I'll probably still stream from there. The creepiest you've been is when you uh, turn into the wholesome logs. <gasps> you guys want me to be wholesome again? She knows I'm funny. <laughs> hey, if I wasn't funny, you think she'd put up with my bullshit? Have you guys seen how much I spam? Have you seen me in her chat? I'm a menace. Why stream? It's a break. Forget work and stream. Please no. But I'm just gonna sit in my hotel room doing nothing. Oh, Meowie is here? No, she's not. Yes, I see her in here. I see you in her chat. You are kind of a menace. <laughs> I was in Mari's chat last night. <laughs> and uh Okay, so if I go into Fangs, if I have a level 3, I think I need level 3s and 4s because I can't really play at level 5. Do hotels have ethnic points you can use? Um, most of them don't. If they do, that'd be awesome. Most of the time, um, hotel Wi-Fi is like actually just garbage. I'm staying at a decent hotel. It was like a thousand bucks for like the three days I'm going to be there. Actually, that's not that good. It's decent. It's not like the best hotel in the world. The Pillow Princess podcast win? Never. That name would make Meowie too too happy, so I can't do it out of principle. Did you get anything from her having as your most viewed streamer at the end? She, she never gave me anything. Let me check her Discord server. Do I have a... Do I have a roll? When was the last time I sent a message here? Hmm. Hmm. If I have a special roll, I don't know which one it is. Sit in your hotel room, wash hour, you mean? Sit in your hotel, ru watching rush hour? Why would I watch rush hour again? The hum logs? I'm thinking, which one do I go into? Not this one. Not Cerebral. Not Hopier Squadron. Ideally, I want to play a level 5 so I can go into Runic Wings. Rush Hour 2, obviously. So many Royal Rares. Damn. Who has Royal Rares? Not me. I have like one. Rush Hour 2? Rush Hour 2 is better. Let's see, I need to play at least a level 3 or a level 4. I don't think there are any good level 4s. <gasps> a level 5! Can I ask you about Dark Worlds? What do you want to ask? This card cannot be normal summon or set. This card can only be special summoned by sending one beast monster from your hand to the graveyard. When this card is special summoned this way, you can only activate one of these effects. God damn it, I can't use it. Uh, when this face-up card you control is target for attack, discard one fable monster to negate the attack. <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad, but it is a level 4 tuner, so I might play it. Because if I play it, then I can go into Runic Wings. Or I can just use Runic Fangs to get the field spell out. Sharks are good level 4s. No, I need specifically a beast type tuner, though. So my options are very limited. 
And it has to be level three or higher. Three, four, or five. I can work with either of those levels. Maybe I'll just go with Airbellum. And then I'll play um Reasoning. Reasoning and then Monster Gate. Why not the Assault Mode Engine? Uh, I could play the Assault Mode Engine. But it requires too many like main deck cards. This is easier. Oh, Monster Gate X. I think someone said if you typed in Monster Gate Excavate it shows up. Okay. So. Hmm. Hmm. Beast, beast. So if I play Rivalry of the Warlords, and we'll just go down to one of these. Okay, here we go. Duelist Cup. Did you ever refine your Moja Melfi deck further? <laughs> refine it? Sure. I polished that turd until it was nice and shiny. And then I moved on to something else. A single jet synchro will do that? No, it has to be specifically a beast type tuner. What's your reasoning target? Airbellum. Did you know that Voltic Bicorn Mill was an actual deck played in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds and the person who played the deck let the main character win? Really now? You can discard the runic cards for runics for recursion, plus might be able to get to Fabled Unicorn. Um, if there was a higher level runic, one of those monsters, I would consider it. Okay, runic fountain. Alright, your opponent draws one card, target one of your opponent's special summon monsters and blow it up. Okay, yeah, you're already running the X-Saber guy. You could stream 5Ds on the con days? Oh, like on the Discord? No, I don't know if I can do that from my laptop. Sounds like a pain in the ass. Oh yeah, I could have summoned a monster. <laughs> uh, go for it. Hopefully they don't have another one. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. Well, shit. They open two cosmic cyclones. Jinxed it. That's what you get for playing Runix. <laughs> I could have played through one, just not the second one, you know? Rip, you're done, son. I'll be fine. They can't OTK. No, wait, yeah, they can. My homeboy over here. Just straight up drew the out. Everybody's ready for Runix in the cup. Axe's code OTK. Keck. Uh, don't you destroy your own combo when there can be only one Rival of the Warlords if you play Beast now, too? Yes. However, I'm planning on bringing out Unicorn exactly once. And then using the Floodgates to, like, control from there. Let's see. Spell Trap. My opponent draws a card. Spells some a monster. Pot of Extravagance. So this is probably rune, not runic. Oh, what's the name of that deck? Yeah, reasons to build my own deck. It's probably that one trap deck that I play. I can't remember the name right now. It's runic. It could be runic, or it could be that trap deck. Birds? No, the one I play. Labyrinth. Yeah, I just forgot the name of it for a second. Could be Labyrinth. 
Whoa. Okay. My turn. What am I doing here? <gasps> oh, I can destroy one spell trap my opponent controls. How'd you forget your favorite deck? Who said it was my favorite deck? Okay. Runic Enna. Someone pointed this at card out in the Niji Sanji subreddit. And someone else was like, isn't it more like Pomu since she's a fairy? And I was like, oh yeah. Oh my god, the fact that the card got banished means I can't use call by on it. <laughs> Nini Sani. Hmm. Hmm, I might be ham boned here. Add a runic card from your deck to your hand. Can I add runic fountain to my hand? Tip into fountain. Ooh. Nice. Okay, now I have Fountain. Alright, now I need to use one more card. Runic Destruction, target one spell trap your pony controls. I'm getting crunk so hard he's forgetting his own plays. I've never used that card to search Fountain before. Infinite Impermanence? Um, okay. Whatever. You know what goes hard? Little Triscuit sandwiches and peanut butter on the side for Nutella on the top? I'll take your word for it. Maybe because Nutella sounds gross. Here, I gotta upload this real quick. After the duel's over, though. Ooh, three cards! Excellent! And then we'll set this in the Imperm column. Just to assert dominance. Okay. Someone remind me, after this duel's over, I have to upload a thumbnail to a video. Because it has to be done ASAP. Since I'm sending it into an advertiser. And I'll forget, because my brain fog is at an all-time high today. <gasps> oh, that reminds me of what I did last night. So, um, last night I was watching Mari Mari underscore EN stream. And, um... Don't forget, clip your thumbnails or something. Whatchamacallit, she made a joke. She made a joke about making six figures or something. And I was like, oh my god, Mari, you too? And then she went on a rant. She's like, oh my god, shut up. Why do you always have to make fun of us poor people? And I was like, what? What do you mean? She's like, you always come in here making fun of how much I make. And I was like, I don't think I do. I don't, I don't believe. And so, um... Whatchamacallit. I donated a uh, hundred dollars. <laughs> I explained to her that um, whenever I walk around, I carry 20s. I carry 20s so that I can hand them out to homeless people who walk up to me and ask for money. And so I gave her $20. And I was like, see? Just like the homeless people. I thought it was funny. But all in all, I think I ended up giving her like almost $250. Just out of poor impulse control. And I woke up this morning and I got my emails. It's like, here's your receipt for your donations to Mari Mari underscore Ian. And I was like, oh no. 
I've made a grave mistake. Did you call her homeless? I did. I was implying she was homeless with the donations. Don't forget the thumbnail. I can do it after this one. You gave her 200... Uh, no, it was a little bit more than that. But it was <laughs> way too much. <laughs> I was like, I shouldn't be doing this. Why do I do these things? Usually I can stop myself, but I wasn't able to. My impulse control has just been like completely shot. I've always had poor problems controlling my impulses, but like... Never this bad. Could you give me ten dollars? No! It's fine if it's Mara because she's very entertaining. And it also encouraged other people to donate too. Like someone else donated a hundred dollars as well just so they could like one-up me. And I was like, good. That means Mara gets more money out of this. Excellent. I'm very entertaining. Do you have an entertaining stream? With an average concurrent viewer count of almost 400 people. Miwa says hi. Tell Miwa that she's my third favorite streamer on Twitch. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. What? <laughs> what did I say? Sorry, my memory is like even worse than normal right now. I don't remember what I said. But what's yes, I do in response to? I thought you were a small streamer. I am a small streamer. We got boof pack though? Who's got boof pack? Not me. Did I draw into the destruction? Destroy a special summon monster? No, not really. Reasoning. Mr. Logs, upload your thumbnail. I will upload my thumbnail. Just leave me alone. I'm doing my best. Mod check. Level 4 was selected. You absolute buffoon. It's a level 3 monster, you idiot. You stupid idiot. What's your favorite deck right now? Labyrinth. <gasps> Ooh, I got it. Who calls 4 on reasoning? I know, right? I call 4 on reasoning. It's number 1. Flew under Reese. What is he doing? Add a flu under Reese field spell from your deck to your hand. Um, okay. Ah, Airbellum, an Edison staple. Yeah, isn't Airbellum like the only beast tuner monster available? If your opponent adds a card from their deck to their hand, let's runic dispelling that shit. Oh, they're going for it. They're going for Breeze. You absolute buffoon, get baited. Thanks for being my third and fourth most watched streamer. <gasps> Why, thank you, the mellowest. How am I your third and fourth most watch? Wait, does that mean you've watched my secret stream a lot too? <gasps> you should at me the, the picture on, on Twitter. It was the biggest ego boost seen me in all your people's, um, and everybody's, uh, top fours. Thumbnail? <gasps> Shit! Terabyte, why didn't you donate that while I was... before the match started? Did you read YouTube comments or you just say it for the engagement? Um, I read YouTube comments for the first day that the video is out and then I don't read them anymore because uh, I'm too busy. Hmm... Hmm... I didn't check my recap to be honest. You have to check it. I'm in your 1%? <gasps> oh my god, Tina Chino, you're in my 1% too. 1% of most recently watched. After probably Akumi Oi. I hate flu, it's no fun. I love flu because it's garbage. No wait, that's not true at all. They're really good. Oh yeah, I'm a 1%er, I just found out. How do we check our recap? It should just send it to you. Ooh, another MPEM. Nice. Are you sure? Are you sure what? 
Don't you have a monster gate? Not in my hand. He uh, he shotgunned his combo early because I was going to disrupt his hand and he didn't want to take the chance that he would lose a card from his hand. What an absolute buffoon. Okay. Activate this card right here. Runic Slumber. Special summon a card from the deck. Mm-hmm. Let's get Runic Fangs. Wait, how come his effect didn't activate? Target one non-quick... Fucking shit, it's only a non-quick play? Oh, god damn it. I thought I could get any Runic card from my graveyard. You sure? You sure what? Oh! <gasps> No, my cards! Uh, this one's almost useless. The ham bone logs he's throwing. You're throwing. I forgot COVID brain. I don't remember either. Wind was selected. If Gary could make any runic cards without having hard ones per turn, this deck would be incredible. Right, Gaki. Wait, how come the card didn't get destroyed? Oh, cannot be destroyed by card effects. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even know it had that protection. That's hilarious. The Prismlay logs, what? Both players didn't read? What do you mean, didn't read? Oh, because I brought this card out? I mean, if I brought out the card that searches a field spell, they would have just negated anyway, so I still would have been hand-boned either way. The reason I went into this one, because I was like, oh, he's going to negate the card effect. That way, it'll proc its floating effect to destroy uh, one of his cards. Oh, yeah, they can just go into Robina and then get... Ryza and then bounce my cards and just completely ignore the floating effects. Thumbnail? Alright. Oh, I almost forgot. Let me go do that real quick. This is a PSA, something I've been seeing in Twitch chat quite a lot recently. Sometimes you guys even tweeted at me. This is a PSA, something I've been seeing in Twitch chat quite a lot recently. Sometimes you guys even tweet it at me. This is something I, I have to tell you guys. I have to come clean with this. I am not a human. I am actually a 300 pound psychic spider who lives on the moon. Now, I know this might be hard to hear, but this is just something I, I have to let you guys know. Yeah, we already know you're not a human. You're a VTuber. <laughs> um, no, I, I'm I'm not a VTuber. I'm actually just a spider who lives That's on the moon. That's just your VTuber lore. Wow, you really do stick to that, don't you? You know what? Just just come here. We can talk about this in person. No, not again. I, I, I yeah, yeah. Don't breathe. worry. I remember you can't uh, breathe here. Uh, We're gonna go to the dimension of lost time. There. Now you should be able to breathe. There's no concept of air or space in here. Anyways, so we can clear the misunderstanding. You understand that I'm I'm just a big old spider? Well, you're actually a VTuber, but whatever you say. Okay, good. There's something else I wanted to say. See, I, I was talking to my marketing agent today, and uh, they told me to stop making jokes about fake merch, because we're probably going to get real merch soon. Is that something you're interested in? Yeah, of course. I'll buy whatever you want. Just let me go home. Nah, you're just saying that because you're stuck in the dimension of lost time. Well, yeah, that's true, but I don't really buy anyone's merch, to be honest. But what would be a good price point for that? I'm not sure. How much would you pay for a limited uh, duration shirt? Well, I don't want to pay anything, to be honest. And what's up with Jupiter? Hmm, interesting. Well, I'm not sure how much money you guys humans have, so uh, th th that's good to know. This is a PSA, something I've been seeing in... Hello there. It didn't take very long. Puggies. 
Let's go back to grinding. Hello, VTuber. Shut up, Tina. This real merch has been teased for a long time. <laughs> There's not going to be any merch. If you are a 300 pound spider, is the earth weight or moon weight? Yes. Real? Dude, I also saw apparently Miwa ended her stream already. Why did she only stream for like an hour? Branded fusion? <gasps> Are we going to get a plush logs? Mm -hmm. Logs, mods didn't register your loss. I'm sad. I didn't lose. Wait, me? Wait, did I say Tina? I thought I said Miwa. Not Tin. Miwa had stuff that she forgot to do. <laughs> oh my god. She forgot she made a commitment. That sounds like Miwa, right? Dude. I have, like, a major headache that I didn't know I had until I started streaming. My brain just keeps, like, just hurting. I think I might need to lay down for a bit. Or I need to put on my uh, blue light glasses. Fuck, I don't know where they're at, though. Guys, where did I put my blue light glasses at? Hydrate redeem? Yeah, let me just drink it like this whole bottle of water real quick. Did you check under the bed? I don't think I put it under the bed. Where the fuck did I put it at? Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> it's not blue light. It's stress. I forgot. No, I'm just stressed out that I'm streaming right now. That's all it is. I'll be good. Zombie world. Zombie world and mirror jade? Psh, okay. Why would they use zombies? I have no idea. Have you ever tried not having anxiety? Yeah, I did. It worked for like two seconds. And then it just goes away. I love my glasses. Oh yeah, I have blue light filtered glasses too. You know like when you go to the, if you get glasses, they ask you like, hey, do you want like this special thing on your glasses? You know, for like extra blue light protection or whatever. I wish I just, yeah. They're like, hey, do you want this other thing that makes them like... Um, makes your glasses, uh... Whatchamacallit? Dim when you're outside? And I'm like, sure, whatever. I had no intention of using my glasses. Because I like to wear contacts, but I ran out of contacts too. <laughs> so I ran out of contacts, right? <laughs> and I put it on my calendar to get an appointment to get contacts again. And, um. Whatchamacallit? What the fuck does this do? I do not like wearing contacts. I love contacts! Target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. Ooh, what card was it? Branded in red? They didn't activate it? Two... Three... I forgot what I was talking- Oh yeah, I made an appointment to go um, get some glasses, right? To get some new contacts on me. I don't like glasses. But I always get the glasses just in case. And it was a good thing I did because I ran out. Okay, let me just set all my floodgates. Except one of them, just in case my field gets wiped. And it came up on my calendar like two weeks ago to go get my do my appointment and I tried looking it up and I couldn't find their number uh, and so I got frustrated and I 
It just didn't do it. And then that's how I, I didn't do my appointment and I didn't get any glasses. I'm sure you guys can relate. <laughs> there can be only one idiot. <laughs> Good luck summoning cards if there can be only one. Just get contacts online if you know your prescription, it's easy. No, I need to get a new prescription. I need to set up, a, like, they don't let you walk in anymore. I used to be able just to walk in and do it, but, like, after COVID, they don't let you do that. You have to get an appointment. And I couldn't find out how to set up an appointment, and so I just gave up. Uh, I should probably add that back to my calendar and try again. <gasps> oh, no! They're attacking my board. Return it to your extra deck. Okay. Same with the walk-in clinic in my area. Jesus, just call the... Wait, branded fusion? They can't use branded fusion. Activate... Rival of the Warlords. Activate... Runic Storm. So what are you using right now? <laughs> I'm using like three-year-old glasses. They're definitely not strong enough anymore. Party parrot. Haha, <laughs> get wasted, idiot. <gasps> I won! The COVID is stiff, makes me not want to go. Just get a personal assistant and have them make your appointment. I do have two personal assistants. I could just ask one of them to do it for me, but I thought this would be easy. It's like, all you do is just call them in and be like, yeah, I need an appointment, like, today. Like, you don't have to wait very long for an eyeglasses appointment. I just couldn't figure it out. I got frustrated, and then I forgot it existed, and I never tried again until I remembered right now. I was like, oh, I should probably set up another appointment. Here's an example of why you shouldn't zombie lock your own branded board. Yeah, that was hilarious. <gasps> I can go into Voltic Bicorn! The problem, though, is I don't have Runic Fountain. If I go into Bicorn, that's not going to help me out very much. So I'm just going to try to go into Fountain first. Uh, special summon a Runic Monster from your extra deck. Runic Fairy. He quit. Nice. Two wins in a row. To level 16. I love Koshtiras. I can just lock my opponent. Koshtiras. Bicorn, then Fountain. No, you need Fountain. Oh, right, because it clear. It frees up my extra deck slot. Oh my god, my headache. It's making it hard to think. <gasps> Ooh, I hard drew into fountain. Oh, but now I don't have the other shit. You can buy coin for a free extra deck monster. Add a runic card from your deck to your hand. Numeron incoming. Psh, psh, psh. Ash Blossom enjoy spring. Psh. If your headache is that bad, then take a break. I will take a break when I'm done streaming. I'll lay down for a bit, and then I'll just lay down for a bit. Activate runic destruction. Special summon a runic monster from the deck. Special summon runic wings. Because I want to gain life points every turn. Should have saved it for when you use fountain. I know, right? Cringe. Okay. I have one negate and one spell trap pop. And I gain 1,000 life points during each end phase. Ghost, maid, here you go. Here's the maid.
Is this Bicorn Life Point Mill? <gasps> no. It's a good idea, though. Zombie Log didn't matter. It's impossible to summon anything under both Rivalry and <laughs> TCBO if you have a monster. <gasps> they opened up Raigeki. Uh oh, you think they also have Cosmic Cyclone? Why else would they Raigeki? Oh, wait, called by? Why are they using called by? It doesn't make any sense. I'm not going to use it next turn. End phase. I mean, I'll just bring out another card. What do I have in the graveyard? Literally nothing. They bricked hard? Yeah, they did. Look, he's laughing. He's having such a fun time. Yeah, they should have just waited. They didn't know that I was running Baltic Mycorn Mill. <gasps> Ooh, going first again. He could have just gone to Worm if he hadn't zombie locked himself. So bricked up, they peeled a city. Just free wins. I know, right? Runic is literally free wins right now. Baltic Bicorn Bussy. <laughs> Ooh, if I mill a fountain. Level 4 was selected. God damn it, just one card? Only a single card? You have got to be kidding me right now. Hmm... Hmm, I could just stop my combos here. But I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go into my Bicorn finally. It's level four, right? Okay, then. Voltic Bicorn. <laughs> Why didn't you chain to Maxi? Because I don't care. Okay, and then we go into Enna. Special summon a runic monster from your deck. Hi, Mr. Logs. Hello, no hickey. You don't care, chat? What? What about what? Select a card to discard. Oh, I'll discard this one. Get out fountain. Okay. And then go into Fountain. <gasps> oh, I can go into another card if I wanted to. Target one effect monster bonus controls and they get its effect until the end of the turn. I need to use Freezing Curses so I can draw three cards. Holy fuck, are they playing a 50 card deck? Damn it! You buffoon! You absolute buffoon! Uh, target one effect monster your opponent controls. How come the runic fusion always goes into the extra monster zone? Do they gain the effects that way? Because the runic cards specifically say you can only summon it to the extra monster zone. That's how they're like, they limit it. Otherwise, every runic card would just be like, you know, spam your board with free monsters for free. It's a free monster festival. I hope they don't have Ash Blossom. Oh, thank God. I was about to literally shit and fart. Oh, goodness gracious. No runics. I didn't draw into any runic cards, guys. Oh, uh, I'm ham boned. Couldn't you use the card that lets you switch monster zones? What card? They're probably confused by the called by the grave that was discarded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't know. Wait, Masquerade the Blazing Dragon? and it switch well that doesn't work there's very few ways to remove the monster from the extra monster zone with like zone changing cards and Senate switch got an errata to specifically say it can't do that 
They basically eroded all those cards to say you can't do that. And then they made new ones that do let you do that. Branded opening. Uh-oh. Except fusion monsters. Despian tragedy. Okay. Hopefully they can't go into anything else. Like a guardian chimera or something. What about transfamiliar? Who's that? Oh wait, I can prevent Guardian Chimera. They should add slow spells, like worse normal spells. Wait, what? How do you make slower spells than that? Three more Twitch ads? Man, every stream, we people complain about the Twitch ads. Look, I can't do anything about it. Literally, Twitch does not allow you to turn them off. That's why I prefer the secret stream, because there's no ads. You want more ads, Mr. Big Phoenix? Thanks for the prime, Yakaz. Here you go. You can't do that, but I can. Yeah, you can add more. Uh-oh. Can they negate my Enna? I don't believe... They negated the wrong card. They sure as heck did. <gasps> Not my runic fountain. Every day since I've gotten back from holiday, I've felt sick. That sucks. Oh yeah, I guess if you just target that card, it gets destroyed. Activate the effect to mill seven cards from the top of the deck. <gasps> from both players' decks. Ooh. That would have been neat if I had drawn into any of my runic cards. I can't believe how terrible that was. Literally got hand-boned. Not Bicorn being terrible? I know, right? Transfamiliar does allow you to move from the EMZ to the monster zone. Yeah, but he sucks. I'm going to sleep well. Can't compute to try again later. Wow. Creation bot. You piece of garbage. If I stay perfectly still, I can feel my brain. <gasps> Bicorn! Bring out this card. Can I eat your brain? Only if you let me have some. Worthless is 9k now? Yeah, I love it. That's just Gary. Who's Gary? Runic and a... Activate Enna's effect. Ditch called by. Search out fountain. Activate fountain. And this is the same board I had last time. He did the combo again. <laughs> Log, can you make ad time cheaper? No. It's already too cheap. Ten ye spirit of Vishuda. Oh fuck. He's gonna bounce my bicorn. Boye. <gasps> Why didn't they bounce my shit first? 
Target one effect monster your opponent controls. Oh yeah, I guess they could have bounced Fountain. That would have been better. Why did they link? Mm -hmm. Ten years. I can't believe they made a deck copying you. I know, right? Oh, come on. Heavenly Dragon Circle. Well, I guess they're locked now. Unless they have a way to get out another Sword Soul monster. Oh, I guess they can just search out Long Yong. He dodged my effect. Hopefully it still counts as activating for Fountain. Yay, draw three. Okay. Ooh. These are useless. Uh, oh, I can use this to search out something I need. Um, add a runic card from your deck to your hand. I'm going to search out the card that lets me pop a special summoned monster. Yeah, Fountain is a cool dude. Target one special summon monster your opponent controls and get rid of it. And good luck stopping me a second time, idiot. Runic Musket, my beloved. Your opponent has special summon to monster. Activate the effect of a card. God damn it. I guess. Target one of your opponent's special summon monsters and get rid of it. They can still just go into Runic Long Yong. Long Yong. Long Yon. Incoming Baron. Yeah, incoming Baron. With another token. Long Yon. He's locked, right? He is, but he can just go into a Baron. Whoa, what card did he just get back? He used Adhara. What the fuck does this card do? Tribute a card to special summon this card from your hand. <gasps> oh my god, that's a Changying and a Baron. And then he can activate Vishuda in order to bounce my unicorn. Oh my god, you bitch. Why would you bounce my unicorn? He wasn't doing anything wrong. Barone is a warrior. That doesn't matter. Target one card in the field and banish it. Oh my god. I didn't know that card could do that shit. I've never even seen someone use Chunjun. Did this guy just draw like the absolute crackedest hand in the world? against my specific setup. I was... He, he saw through all my plays. It was like a million leagues ahead of me. They know the tech. I got teched out. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, I drew into another air bellum. Nice. I love drawing to all three copies of my air bellum. Awesome. That's amazing. Special summon a runic monster. There's no way they'll negate the first card that comes out. Was it banished? <sighs> Why did they banish it? <laughs> Why can't you just be normal? Bicorn is doing his best. Bicorn got banished, piece of garbage.
You're dead to Sinister? I'm dead to the entire board. Stop bullying him? I'm the one being bullied here. Bicorn did his best? Bicorn is garbage. He keeps losing me the game. Hmm. Yeah, typical Sword Souls. Good morning. Hello there, Cafe Fico. How's it crackalacking? Bicorn's just a little guy. He's just a baby. Bicorn sucks. He needs to do better. It's going all right. Excellent. I've got a big headache. I should probably go lie down. Oh, fuck. I just remembered I have an email I need to reply to. Hmm. Hmm. Ghost mode? Here you go. It's ghost mode time. Reminder reply to email? No, I have a reminder set up. I won't forget. Whew. It's more like I forgot about the email. And it's a good thing I was turning in something, otherwise I would have forgotten again. This is big. Bigger than. Bigger than. Big. How about you tell Uncle Konami to retrain Bicorn to make him good? All they need to do is give him the the treatment that they gave the other guy. <clears throat> What's your call it? Man, I can't think of anything today right now. Man, I need a vacation. Brain fog? Yeah, literally. I just can't think of anything. It's like I have a thought, a formulated thought, just right there waiting for me, and I just can't grab it. It just eludes me, and I just have to like focus super hard and think, where, what is it? What was I thinking about? And it's like trying to grab, you know, a puff of smoke. I can get little whiffs of it, but I, I don't get the whole thing. And then sometimes a little whistle will remind me of the rest of it was. It's like, oh, okay, there it is. Special summon one runic card from your deck. Bahama Vlogs. <gasps> Should I vlog it? I'll bring my video camera to vlog it. Welcome, Labyrinth. Just rewatch the VOD to see what you were saying. I can't. I don't remember anything about anything. Trap trick. Why are they chaining all this to this? Vacations where I want to party on the beach where the fun is free. We don't need a holiday. It's time to celebrate because I need a break. I need a vacation. <gasps> That's like from the Pokemon movie. Oof. Eradicator Epidemic Virus. That's bad for me. Yeah, I'm gonna get all my spells destroyed. That song takes me back. Exactly. Get this card out on the field. We ham boned, are we though? Oh no, he's gonna give you Ligma. A trip to where? Mmm. Eradicator. <gasps> they can pop it. Ligma what? Are they gonna choose spells? I wonder if I activate a runic card. Will it count as being protected by uh, Hugin?
And then I can I negate the entire effect. Activate. Yes. Nope. <laughs> it just protects the one card. <laughs> At least I tried my best. Select a card to add from your deck to your hand. Activate Runic Fountain. Okay. Good job. Yeah, I tried my best. How can I get the deck list? Uh, just rewind the VOD and just take a screenshot. Unfortunately, Master Duel does not have an easy way to share deck lists. Logs did his best. I did. I tried my best. Just make the deck public. How do you make a deck public? I need to go to bed and work in the morning, but I see the ad time is off cooldown. God, I wish I was a man meter person. <gasps> The ad time is off cooldown. Whoa. Just go first next time. I did go first. In my heart. <gasps> if I draw into a runic card, will it let me activate it before it gets destroyed? Or does it get destroyed before I get to activate it? Target one card in the field and destroy it. Wait, he destroys any card in the field? Wait, what? I thought it only destroyed the monster who was attacking. What the fuck? Oh my god. I didn't know it did that. Add time. This card is way better than I thought it was. It's pretty good. I thought it only destroyed the card that was like attacking. Bring Red Reboot? I don't want to. That was the first Labyrinth player I've seen all day. Reply. I won't forget the email. Like, I have it open on my other monitor. Oh my god, my headache is so bad. <laughs> I shouldn't have started up another one. I gotta go. Uh, what's funny is I didn't have any headache before I started the stream. It was literally just the stream itself that caused it. I'm going first! What are you doing, idiot? Thanks for the sub, Lax Louie. I just got an ad even though my sub doesn't end for a couple of hours or so. Weird. The email's on his third monitor, it's on my second monitor. VTuber takes a strange. I'm not a VTuber. Activate Runic Golden Droplet. Special summon Runic Wings. Chat triggered your headache? No, I think it's just the stress of streaming in general. Uh oh, Ash Blossom. Hopefully, I can use there can be only one. In order to stop my opponent from doing anything. Got any Parasitamoltol on hand? What's that? Oh my god, hurry the fuck up, Daffit. Oh no, Ash, anyway. No, that could screw me over depending on what kind of deck my opponent's playing. 
Hopefully they don't have any backward removal and they lose so there can be only one Raigeki. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Thanks for clearing up my zone. You absolute buffoon. It helps with headaches. I just need to lay down for a bit or take some ibuprofen. I'll be fine. It's not even that bad. Wait, what? You proc triple tactics talent off of d d d destroying my card? Do both. Man, I can't even talk. No, I don't need to do both. I'm pretty sure my headache will go away in like 10 minutes after the stream's over. That usually happens. Planet Pathfinder. Okay. <gasps> Are they playing Numerons? Numer cringe? Ooh, I love Numerons. Yay, now that they have Numeron Network out, they can't use Lightning Storm. Did they banish all three Numeron Networks? They have to use Cosmic Cyclone and or Twin Twisters and or Harpy's Feather Duster. Which they do main deck. Oh, he's just gonna hard cast Numeron Calling from his hand. Special summon up to four Numeron Gate X. These monsters with different names from your extra deck by banishing them during the end phase. Also, you can only normal or special summon one more time for the rest of this turn. Summon out your one card. <laughs> Get fucked. Oh, I have the spell trap destruction. I don't want to destroy it though because this benefits me. That means they can't use lightning storm if I leave it out. A clever man. I mean bot. Yeah, I get crunked. And I can finally get my gosh darn runic fountain. Yeah, nice Numeron deck, nerd. Expect him to quit? Good. I would love to end on a win. One effect monster, destroy one spell trap. Yeah, we'll go into this one. Special summon a runic monster from your extra deck. Special summon runic fairy. Hugin of the Runic Fairies, of the Runic Wings. Why is she called Wings if she's a fairy type? Like Pomu Rainpuff. Okay, then we activate this. Target one spell trap your opponent controls and destroy it. Why didn't he scoop? Because maybe he thinks he stands a chance. Who knows? Now if he does draw into a Harpy's Feather Duster and or Twin Twisters, I can stop it. But if he draws into a Cosmic Cyclone, I can't. Because he's supposed to be one of Odin's Ravens or something? Hugin is one of Odin's Ravens? Who the fuck is Odin? There are two missions for finishing DC games? What? If Konami would ban slash limit runa cards, which card would they need to ban slash limit? If Konami was going to hit Runix, what they'd have to do is hit There Can Be Only One, Goes In Match, Rivalry, and Skill Drain. Uh, that would do it. Just hit those four Runic cards. Norse Odin. Not the Synchros. And Summon Limit. Oh, I forgot about Summon Limit. That's a good one. <laughs> Planet Pathfinder? <gasps> Are they going to go into the battle phase with Planet Pathfinder? Uh oh! They're going to destroy Hugin in order to proc another one of the cards in their hand or just destroy it for funsies? Because I'm fine if they destroy it for funsies. Because that means I can use Runic Destruction. 
What exhilarating gameplay, Runic Floodgate versus Doomron OTK? This isn't Runic Floodgate, this is Runic Bicorn Mill. Summon Limit will never get hit now that Konami gave it an accessory. Are they really? How cool. I love accessories. Special summon one runic monster from the extra deck. I want the one that gives me life points every turn. Activate runic fountain. Yay, I finally get to draw some cards. Okay, and then gain a thousand life points. Stop asking me to use my cards. <gasps> Am I actually going to be able to mill my opponent? Usually my opponent just loses by the time they get to this part. You had to cut Bicorn for space. It's a Theseus kind of situation. No, I have Bicorn in the deck still. Remember when people said IO wasn't getting banned because it got an animation? What's IO? Oh, Imperial Order? Right, um, copium. What does this one do? A target to special summon monster. Ooh, I want to use this. Runic Golden Droplet. Your opponent draws one card. And then meals cards. And then I can activate Runic Fountain to draw another card. Drawing one card is still good. Ooh, Monster Gate. Ooh, I can go into Air Bellum. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ooh, and I can get some mill for my runic fountain. This is a win-win. Oh, but I I can't use the battle phase this turn. <gasps> Did I banish their Oh my god, I banished Harvey's Feather Duster. <laughs> I wonder if he noticed that or not. <laughs> Let's enter the battle phase. Battle phase skip because of the runics. All right, I'm gonna go pass out. Feels like shit. See a chat. <gasps> Me too. There's an ancient Gamba stuff from like five matches ago. Can you um? Is there? I don't see anything. Let me see here. Chat. Mod chat. Chat highlights. Shield mode on. Ooh. No, I don't see shit. <laughs> Maybe they have Cosmic Zyclone? Well, it looks like they had Lightning Storm and they had Harpy's Feather Duster, but not anymore. Ooh, they're going to tribute summon something? What is it? Put he chat into defense mode? What? Oh my god. They tribute summon Cyframe Driver. That's amazing. No, my air bellum. Yeah, classic move. Twenty four cards. No, that's fine. Now he has a summon skull on the field. Uh oh, tribute summon. You mean like defense mode? I need to gain more life points. I'm going to bring out my life point gain mill dude, Munin, the runic wing. I'm going to bring him out, and then I'm going to gain 2,000, a whole bunch of life points, and my opponent won't be able to do anything. Definitely a bot. He's not a bot. Activate runic flash fire. Special summon a runic monster from the deck. I want the dude who gains me life points. Then activate runic fountain. Uh, let's return this one, and this one, and that one. All of the searchers. 
top of your deck in any order. <gasps> yes, activate runic wings. Active effect of another card? No. I bought what is good by now. Yep, exactly. Freezing fire. Target one effect monster your opponent controls and negate its effects until the end of the turn. Ooh, I can use slumber in order to proc my fountain again to draw three more cards. Ooh. Ooh. You have to do that. Activate runic slumber. Target one face-up card in the field. Next time it would be destroyed, it is not destroyed this turn. Banish three cards. Activate Runic Fountain. How many cards do I have left? 21. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, target one spell trap. Wait, 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 wait. Target one spell trap your opponent controls. I don't want to destroy their spell trap, otherwise their lightning storms are alive on their hands. Uh how many cards I have left? And I'll just end my turn. Activate wings to draw a card. Send Gozen match to the grave. Yesterday I found a runic player using reasoning spell card and suddenly he loses because reasoning decks himself out. <laughs> but runics can recycle for days. You can't outgrind a runic deck. It's funny that runics are part of the gene raider lore of all things. Are they really? There's no way. They're not fighting any gene raider cards though, are they? Are there Gene Raider cards in here? There are. It's the battle phase. They are. Yeah, Har is Odin. No. You guys are making stuff up. Damn it. Stop destroying my mutants. I want to gain more life points. I only gained 2,000 life points after that. Okay, activate this card. Special summon a runic monster from the deck. We'll special summon big boy wolf out this time. Activate fountain to draw three more cards. They're both based on North mythology. North mythology? Ooh, look at all these cards I have. I have so many cards now, it's kind of crazy. <gasps> Airbellum! Mr. Longs, you should make lore videos for Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't want to, though. That's so much work. Har is the main character, and they're both part of the video game archetype. But there are some artwork connections. Who's the guy who's the Runic dude, then? Freezing Curses. Voltic Bicorn? I can't, because of there can be only one. Dire Yuga has a friend zone lore video connection to the archetypes? Really? Mm hmm. That's the Skyrim MC? I've never seen him before in my life. Also, how come they're not giving me any of the freaking mill cards? I'm getting nothing but the control cards. Why is it that when I want to control my opponent, I don't draw the control cards, I draw the mill cards? And when I want to mill my opponent, I draw the control cards and not the mill cards. Why is it that life is unfair to me specifically and no one else? Ooh, do I have any more cards in the grave? I'm gonna use Monster Gate. That way I can activate my Runic Fountain. Fuck, I'm late. <gasps> Hello there, Aku Meowie. Welcome to hell. Today in Hellland, we are... Ooh, can I still summon something? Yes, I can! Because I can just summon something that's not beast type. Special summon a runic monster. God damn it. I used the wrong one. I'm a stupid idiot. I'm actually the dumbest person who's ever lived. Literally a stupid moron. Return two cards. Oh, I'm finally out of cards. Two cards. Draw two. God damn it. Fucking shit. Still? Still? Oh. 
<laughs> Give me the fucking mill cards. I don't want this shit. All I want to do is mill. Yes, gain life points. Tadpole? Wait, what are you guys doing? What are you guys talking about? Mill yourself that always works? <gasps> Aku, you want to hear something? He's really something. He's a work of art. And I respect it so much. Don't tell him I said that. See, now I'm not angry anymore. I was slightly cheesed, and now I'm no longer cheesed at all. Why is this duel still going? Uh, I don't know. I think my opponent thinks they can draw an out or something. I hate you so much, man. <laughs> I hope you lose. <laughs> Shut up. Pie Lord. You're worthless, you piece of garbage. I hope you get hit by a bus. And then fall down and then drop your wallet. And then someone finds it and they, and they commit identity theft. And then it's really hard to fight it because you have to prove to the banks that it wasn't you. And then you have a bad night. Meowie, don't yell at him, he's doing his best. <gasps> Meowie, earlier today, my chat was saying how much they love me. But I forgot the context for it. But I remember thinking, see, Meowie needs to see this. No, we don't. You guys were saying it earlier. Don't even pretend. <laughs> No. Not the memory loss? Dude, my memory is just not working right now. I have a huge headache. I was gonna end the duel. I was gonna end my stream after this duel. So I can just go lie down for a bit. Seriously, goldfish memory? No, I just have like massive brain fog at the moment. When does it ever work? Normally, I'm good. It's just recently, my brain hasn't been working very goodly. Report for slow play. This is redunculous. Is that a tadpole for reals? I ain't reporting for slow play. He's just probably on mobile. He's going to quit after that? He's not going to let me mill him? <sighs> Satisfying to see Numeron player get floodgated like that. I know, right? Yeah, thrilling gameplay. I know, right? But I got more shit I need to do, but I need to like lie down for a bit to make my headache go away. Okay guys, I gotta go. Who's who's is streaming right now? <gasps> is Meowie streaming? Meowie, how come you aren't streaming? Raid Jade? I could raid Minifull instead. Have a good rest. I'm just gonna lay down for a little bit. I just got here? No. Meowie, do you want to come on and talk for a bit? See you in four days. Oh yeah, because I'm going to be gone for four days. Rest well? I just need to like, talk about what? Fuck, I don't know. I was just going to have you on and then try to peer pressure you into reading something for me. But I can't exactly say that. And talk about life, the universe, and everything in between? Yeah, peer pressure. Meow, he takes over your stream. <laughs> you just did. <laughs> hey. I mean, I wanted to have you on to ask you um, about... What, what, why would I have you on? Like, what other reason would I have you on? <laughs> like, I can't even think of anything. <laughs> Talk about your pillow princess? I mean, I could say you can come on to, like, make fun of me, but that's weird. I can't, like, say that. It'll probably happen. I'll talk for 10 minutes tops. <gasps> that's good. That's more than enough time. Lox is high charisma. He's rolling for a check. Dude, I have, like, negative charisma. I had to work very hard to get these levels of mediocrity. I only have- I only temporarily have a goldfish memory. Normally my memory is totes. Let me get to my PC. Okay. 
I'll just do a duel. This this deck doesn't require me to use my brain very much, to be honest. Can she read the rescue rabbit script you made? No. That one is too cringe. Yu-Gi-Oh! Tutor session? <gasps> you want me to teach Aku Miyawi how to play Yu-Gi-Oh? I can't do that right now. My brain is not functioning at 100% capacity. Also, I don't think she cares. That'd be like if someone came on and was like, Hey, I'm gonna teach you how to play Final Fantasy XIV. I'd be like, wow, I don't care. I'm not interested even a little bit. Or it's like, hey, I'm gonna come on and teach you how to play Apex Legends. It's like, oh my god, a game I don't care about? Hell yeah. Teach me teach me all of these, these strats to a game I, I'm never gonna play. I love that idea. It's so good. That's how I imagine trying to teach someone Yu-Gi-Oh was like. <laughs> Sacrilege unfollowed. Teach you how to play flip decks. Heavenly Spears. Heavenly Spears pass? Ooh, I didn't draw into a single runic card. There we go. I can teach you to play Sword Soul. Can you? Reasoning. Max C. Uh oh. The dual logs, I mean, I show no interest in playing Yugo a little bit. She was talking about on stream yesterday. Why did you pin that? I now what? Are you at your computer? Here, I'll cold call you. Well, my Discord just went crazy. Um. Bond abuse. Hello. <gasps> Hello there. Welcome to the stream. Can you explain to everybody who you are? <laughs> I, I just sat down and now I got to get into character. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, it's me, Aku Miyawi. I'm your demon cat maid. Come here from the future to take care of you. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's your that's your catch phase, right? That's, that's not even... <laughs> oh, can I have a Fugi react for you? <laughs> oh, do you want my... um? God damn, I built like my entire deck. What the fuck was that shit? Oh, I'm not gonna comment on my duel while I talk. You know, you just said my intro. I don't need to do it. It's okay. Is that your intro for reals? I just made shit up. <laughs> no, it's not my <laughs> fucking intro. Do you have an intro? <laughs> you <laughs> You've asked this so many times long. You're always just like, wait, do you have an intro? And then you've raided me and you've heard my intro. You're fucking <laughs> Wait, have I asked you this before? Yes. Uh, I don't. I, swear. I don't. I don't believe. <laughs> I swear to God, man. Wait. So, do you have an intro? I don't remember the answer to the question. <laughs> You're useless. Hold on. <laughs> I have brain fog right now. Here you go. I do have my intro. It's um, you know, when I get raided, I have this whole intro. Uh huh. That I say, it's like. Hi, Raiders! I can't even do it. Knuckles is so mad. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you mad? <laughs> because you already forgot my intro. <laughs> you don't have an intro. <laughs> you said do. You just said you don't. I said I do have an intro. You just oh. don't remember. It. Uh, <laughs> I'm always just like, hi Raiders, my name's Aku Miyai, well, you can call me Miyai, I am your personal demon cat made here at your service, and I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch, I do art, sing, and I also voice act, welcome, welcome. You're over here like, <laughs> what did you say, I'm from the future and I'm here to serve you, what the fuck did you say? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what you, that's your, that's your thing. <laughs> Man. Here, you have to go up here. Where am I going? Why am I so small? <laughs> because... I'm small. Bro, I'm like the same Oh, I need size. to be a spider. <laughs> there we go. I can put you underneath me. What? Yeah, <laughs> no one can be above me. It is. It looks weird. Just a little bit. It's a little sussy, but okay. 
Akumiawis. What is what's your fan base called? <laughs> what's my fan base called? Do not judge me. Uh -huh. I literally call everyone my children. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you sound so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's great. I'm happy for you. You actually sound so disappointed to ask me that question. More power to you. I hope you have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I, with just that. Haven't, I can't c come up with a good name. I'm like, I have to babysit these fuckers all the time so you guys are my children. <laughs> That's mm. what I call my community. <laughs> what are we, the dual logs? You guys are chat. That's it? <laughs> they don't have a name. Like, you know, naming your chat is like a VTuber thing, and I'm a MeatTuber. Why don't you call them like... Um... Call them what? Um, trying to think of something. If I can't, if I can't think of one for my chat, <laughs> I don't think I could think of a good one. How about I call oh. them? Hello, guys. You're now part of the cool kids squad. I hate that so much. Anyone they're who's in chat. Gonna hate that. Nope, they're gonna hate that so much. <laughs> is is one of the cool kids? You ever go outside and, and someone's like, "Hey, are you part of a community?" You're like, "Yes, I'm part of the cool kids." The cool kids club with a K. Don't try to be edgy, please stop. <laughs> Don't do that, please. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you sound like me when I try to be edgy on like Twitter. I'm over here like, yeah, just chatting for life, but then I spell life with a Y <laughs> instead. Oh my god. Oh, so edgy. <clears throat> Are you actually a comedic genius? Are oh, you asking me? Yeah. I'm a comedic genius. Why? Why are you asking that question? Where is this question coming from? Well, I just, I'm just wondering. Uh, sure. Yeah. It's because based on your, uh, your Twitter history. Oh hell yeah! I think I'm so funny. I make myself laugh all the time, even if I'm actually not funny. So <laughs> I'm gonna give myself a ten. <laughs> out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> ten. Did you see that one? The the new thing circulating, where it's like rate yourself with all of these like parameters. Yeah. Did you do that? Um, bro, you fucking, you, you tagged me, right? That's the one that you're talking about, right? Oh, I tagged like right before my stream started, so I didn't see any response. Oh, here it is. Let's see, logs made me. Well, I mean, I didn't tag you <laughs> to do that. I tagged you. Yes, you, you did. You added <laughs> no. my name. You're stupid. You're no, I, me. No, you, I. You literally, you no, literally I, at my name. I can't. <laughs> no, I added your name because one of my people was, they called me cool, I think. And I needed to show you proof because you don't believe me. Are you serious? I did that shit for nothing. You're lying to me right now. You're actually lying to me, Logs. <laughs> no, just look at your thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Let look me at, go look at the, the response. <laughs> look at the chain. Let me go back to the tweet. <laughs> yeah, go to the tweet right now. <laughs> You're telling me I had to sit there and think about this for no fucking reason. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey, let me look at your response. Let me look at your thing. You, just, you can't just tag my name. Sure I, I can. You didn't. There was no context to it. I just thought, oh, he's tagging. No, me you just read. You you look at the the comment that you replied to. How did you not notice that? Yeah, I, I am looking at it. But then, I don't know why you tagged my name under that. Because <laughs> you don't believe me. <laughs> what, your humor? Wait, what? Is that what they said? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Did I tag the <laughs> wrong one? <laughs> You're so stupid! He actually tagged the wrong one! <laughs> Oops. Bro. I can't stand talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these. <laughs> There's so many wrong things happening, <laughs> all in one. <laughs> it's fine. Let's see. Look, seven out of ten. Creativity, nine out of ten. Ooh. Humor, <clears throat> ten out of ten. Do you oh, think you yeah. have a ten out of ten humor? <laughs> Absolutely. I make myself laugh all the time. And that's all that matters. Hmm. <laughs> interesting. Uh, Mental health, four out of ten. Uh huh. Why are you exposing <gasps> me to your whole fucking, <laughs> your whole community right now? They are all so interested in this right now. They're like, oh my god, logs, logs, logs. I don't know what the fuck they're saying. I haven't been reading chat. Oh my god. 
Yeah, I'm cool, exactly. Empathy, 10 out of 10. <gasps> do you have anxiety, too? Well, I guess. Yes, I do. Wait, you do, actually? <laughs> Bro, we've talked about this! <laughs> have we? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you need to see a doctor! <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. Oh Are you god. sure you didn't talk to someone else about it? <laughs> One day I'm gonna show up on stream, and you're gonna be like, Who's Aku Meow? Why does she have a diamond? <laughs> I swear to God, dude, it's gonna happen one day. I'm crying. <laughs> We've literally talked about so many things, and he forgot everything. I don't think we talked about this. Bro, we talked about this. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, 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 jog my memory. What was the context for this? It was about ADHD. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> And I was just talking about how, like, the root of my anxiety and depresso came from ADHD. And then you talked about your anxiety that you were diagnosed with, basically. I think this is oh! Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I know why I don't remember. Because uh -huh. you probably reminded me of a conversation talking about myself, so I just immediately started talking about myself after that. Oh my god, why are you like this? <laughs> I... <laughs> I just, uh. you know, whatchamacallit, but my favorite conversation topic is obviously me, like everybody is. If you want to get someone to like you, just get them to talk about themselves, because everybody loves talking about themselves. You're so annoying. You do too! What, what do you mean? Talk everybody about myself? Does. Like... No, I think yeah. it's probably because it's mentioned in passing, so I just like didn't register it. Like, I think it's just ADHD. You need to accept this. You need to stop denying the fact that you <laughs> you don't have ADHD. Do you really think I have ADHD? I really believe it, dude. <laughs> I mean, like, I only have the two symptoms. <laughs> You're in such denial. About so no, no, it's things. just like, you know, impulsiveness, which is like, you know, hey, some people are just impulsiveness. Some people are wacky. That doesn't mean you have ADHD. And then the memory um, thing, I, you know, that one's... A little bit more extreme. Your your memory shit. I think <laughs> your, me your, your memory's so garbage. <laughs> you, I'm pretty sure you have it. It's just like you know, it's just the memory thing and like the impulsiveness. Like that's it. Like isn't there like a whole bunch of other things? Um, you hyper focus. You get easily distracted. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, Wait, is hyperfocus a symptom? Isn't it like ADHD is supposed to be like the opposite of hyperfocus? No, you can hyperfocus with any ADHD that you have. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? 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 What's think, like the the? How do you hyperfocus? Like, what is? I think the... I'm. I think I'm currently one of your hyperfocuses. <laughs> <laughs> <I> think... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear the lie in your voice. <laughs> he can't no. deny. <laughs> he can't deny. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> he can't. You're exposing yourself to your whole fucking chat. Oh my god, is no. that a prime sub? Wait, there's a prime sub. Wait, was there a sub? <laughs> Not him ignoring his whole fucking chat. <laughs> oh, uh, thanks for the nine month prime sub, Roadhog Time 19. Nine months and what it did renew. My 35th birthday. <gasps> oh my god, it's your birthday? Happy birthday, Roadhog. I Happy hope you birthday. have a great day. Yeah. Meowie, do you want to say something? Yeah, thank you so much for your prime sub. Happy nine month anniversary. I know he would never say that shit. I'm so sorry, but happy nine month anniversary. <laughs> and happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, I have something for you. Thank you for your prime sub. <laughs> I'm so honored to receive your one and only prime sub of the month. So Did I nail crazy. it? No, you didn't nail it, but you know, I'll give you credit. Worth due. So. It's pretty good, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, so what's this about hyper focusing? Um, yeah. Hyper focus. It's exactly what it sounds like. You just focus on something so much that you just, it's kind of like an obsession. That's an ADHD system? Yeah, go look up hyper focus, man. What the fuck have you been reading about ADHD? That's like one of the top things about ADHD, like hyper focusing. I've literally never seen that before. Like things that you take interest in, you just hyper focus and you want to learn and like 
you do everything in your power to just focus on that one thing constantly. So. <laughs> really? Yep. Mm -hmm. Dude, that's like my biggest problem. I hate hyper focusing on stuff. It's so annoying. He's realizing he has ADHD, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, that can't be. You're in such this denial. This is impossible. You're I'm lying to me. It's because you're so used to dealing with it that it seems like it's just a normal thing. Because you know how you said, like, you know, why haven't I struggled my whole life? I hope you know that ADHD stems very differently from person to person. No one's ADHD is the same or affects the Yes, it's very different from person But I've been person. so successful. You can be successful with ADHD. No, I mean, like, <laughs> academically, like, it's never affected, like, my grades too badly. Yeah, there are people that still do well in school, and then there's other people that don't. Well, I mean, like, I remember I used to think I had it because I couldn't concentrate on, like, boring schoolwork, but I just thought that was normal. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like, that's... Cause I looked up the symptoms, like, I didn't have anything else. I was like, okay, maybe it's just, you know, it's just boring. So, of course, I sit there and stare at the screen for 30 minutes and not do anything. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm pretty sure you have it. You're just slowly realizing all of these different things that you never realized because you're just like, oh, yeah, I'm super successful and I haven't struggled, so I'm okay. Yeah, no, ADHD is different than everyone, so. What? There's no way. Hyperfocus? Is that time. seriously? Let me look this up. Yes, I'm so fucking serious. Hyperfocus is something real for people with ADHD. Oh my god, one of the first <laughs> things is ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I can't. Hyperfocus, the ADHD phenomenon of intense fixation. <laughs> oh my god. I think that kind of sounds like things that you go through, right? That is. <laughs> Yeah. Hyperfocus refers to an intense fixation on an interest or activity for an extended period of time. People who experience hyperfocus often become so engrossed they block out the world around them. This is an uh, ADHD symptom? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> He's having a fucking crisis, you guys, right now. <laughs> 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 Live on stream. <laughs> Oh, no. What causes ADHD brain or hyperfocus? Like distractibility, hyperfocus is thought to result from abnormal low levels of dopamine. Uh, blah blah blah. Children and adults with ADHD have difficult times shifting attention from one thing to another. If they're doing something they enjoy or find psychologically rewarding, they'll tend to persist in the behavior after others would normally have moved on to other things. The brains of people with ADHD are drawn to activities that give instant feedback. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, sounds like you. So. Yeah. Congrats, man. You mean I could fix all my problems if I just take ADHD medications? I mean, I mean no, that's not, no, it doesn't really work like that. I mean, Dude, some people I try so more. hard uh -huh. to fix myself and nothing works. I mean, not everyone with ADHD goes the meds route. I mean, if you've been living your life just fine and you don't really see a problem It's not with just fine, living, I'm a mess. Oh, <laughs> I'm having a therapy session live on stream. <laughs> Log, no. <laughs> I've looked I mean, over so many things. Like, what's wrong with me? Because I'm not normal. I'm telling you, man. I think you just got to bring it up to Because that's how I brought it up to my doctor. I was like, hey, is there any way that I can get diagnosed for adult ADHD? And she was like, oh, what makes you think you have it? And I'm like, okay. Well, here's this, 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 and this. She was like, okay, let me refer you to um, um, a psychiatrist. And then, boom, then we went from there. So I think that's what you got to bring up to the doctor. I went yeah. to school for psychology. Okay. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> it's the ADHD. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> how, did, how did I never figure this shit out? Because you're in denial and you thought it was normal. <laughs> I thought it was normal. No. <laughs> like, you know, sometimes it's people yourself. just, like, get really into something, and, like, that's fine. Bro, your memory is just shit. You know, and so. sometimes people just, like, forget things when they walk into a room. Uh-huh. Like, the only thing that I thought was, you know, abnormal was that people don't do that literally all the time. 
And then when I said that to the chat, chat's like, yeah, we have to remind you about stuff all the time because you forget. I was like, yeah, because people forget, don't they? And they're like, no. And I was yep, like, it's oh. Not it's not. I will literally walk. I wa I'll, I'll, uh, this. I walk through that door and I'm like, fuck did I come in here for? And I'll, until I remember, I'm like, that's what I was coming in here for. Yeah. Like, the worst. Yeah. Not constantly. <laughs> it is constant. Like, if I go into a new room, I have to, like, say the thing in my head I'm going to do over and over, or otherwise I'll forget it. But I thought that was just normal, because like, of course you're not going to remember, because like, why would you? Because if you were normal, your brain <laughs> Because if you were normal, I can't relate. Because yeah. yeah. I just thought like, yeah. <laughs> but like, I passed so many tests because I could remember like, everything. I mean... And like, I know every single card in the game, but I just don't like know their names. Is this why I'm bad with names? Yes, probably. I'm terrible with names too. <laughs> You're bad with names too? Yeah, but the thing is, like, you you like this game. You're it's one of your hyper focuses. It's one of the things that you actually like. So of course, uh huh. You're gonna be good at it, right? Yeah. Sometimes I'll just like ignore everything and just like build decks for hours. Yeah, that's totally ADHD, dude. There ain't no way. There's he said oh. hours. It's not the fact that you'll just sit there and like you know. Oh, I'm gonna take an hour to myself and then do other. No, he said no, hours. it's not a choice. He literally it's said a compulsion. hours. It's, he said hours. <laughs> like I just start doing it, and I just like I have all these things I need to do, and I'll sit down, and I'll just start doing it, and I won't stop for like four hours. <laughs> it's totally a hyper focus. That's definitely a hyper focus. Yeah, and I do this at least like two or three times a week. Okay, have you ever done this thing where something piques your interest and you're just like, oh my god, I have to go Google this and look this up. And then you you focus so much on looking up that one thing that you go down a rabbit hole and you learn so much. Have you done that before? That's normal. That's not fucking normal. Logs. That is That's, normal. No. I think going that down specifically no, is no. normal. Logs, no, there's a difference between just looking something up casually for a little bit and then focusing to the point where you learn every single fucking thing about that one thing you just wanted to look up. <laughs> and, no, and getting distracted that's... by other things that you learn learn along the way of looking that one thing. Up. I, I believe, I think that's probably normal. <laughs> that's not fucking normal. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's, that's... I, think, I think there's like some context in which it's probably not normal. <laughs> Like, I think everyone does look up things, but there's a huge, there's an extent to that. There are people that actually focus to the point where they literally go down a rabbit hole and mm -hmm. they'll learn one thing after the next. And then they're like, oh, there's this new thing that was mentioned here. Let me go look up this new thing. And then you just can't fucking stop after that. And you think about it for days and then you get over it because you're like, I'm bored. Time to move on to the next thing that hyper, hyper yeah. focus on. I That's mean, That's not normal, Logs. That's I... <laughs> I definitely do that frequently, <laughs> but I also think that's normal. <laughs> oh my fuck, of course you think it's normal because that's what you're used to. <laughs> <laughs> it is normal. Oh my god. You know, it, it's, I, I don't know if hyper focus is that bad. Hey, look this here. Is hyper focus ADHD bad? There's nothing inherently harmful about hyper focus. In fact, it can be an asset. Some people with ADD or ADHD, for example, are able to channel their focus on something productive, such as school or work related activities like making videos or new channels. Others allow them to hyper-focus on something as a reward for compelling a dull but important task. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, there's some hyper-focuses that can benefit a person. Like, there's actual some people that weirdly will hyper-focus on school. Couldn't be fucking me. But, you know, they will hyper-focus on school. And then there's other people like me where I'm like, I fucking hated school so much. <laughs> what a oh. passion. It bored me. I was one of those people that would constantly yawn. I thought it was normal. And mm -hmm. I thought it was also low-key weird, because I couldn't stop yawning. I'm like, yeah. why do I yawn so fucking much in class, no matter how much sleep I get? Apparently, that's ADHD. I just, Is it? I do that a lot, too, when I'm bored. Yeah, it's because you're not producing enough um, uh, dopamine. You're bored. And uh -huh. I was constantly yawning to where, like, my eyes get so watered that I'm, like, in tears and shit. So I'm, like, crying in the middle of class, but it's not because I'm sad. It's because I can't stop yawning. Wait, that's like, actually an ADHD symptom? Yeah. You get bored. You, you yawn. I was so bored in all of my classes. Dude, that I do I that a lot. Yawn. It's so bad. Like, and whenever I'm, like, I'm on, like, a, a stream with, like, a soggy Ame who's in chat, I'll just start, like, yawning the whole time. <laughs> 
Because it's like, oh, I can't, I just can't do this. Yeah, Someone's in chat's like, holy shit, I might have ADHD too. <laughs> Oh no, not, not <laughs> chat realizing. The whole chat's like, wait, what the fuck? She's listening What do you mean, too? I don't me. have it. Gaslight, <laughs> excuse me, what? Oh, hello there, Asagi Ame, the VTuber, Asagi Ame. Do you know of Asagi Ame, Aku Miyawi? I do not. Hello, Asagi Ame. Hello, hello. I had a collab with her last night. That's why we couldn't play. It's okay. Good collab. Yeah, it was great. We played Yu-Gi-Oh! and then some Overwatch too. You play Overwatch? Uh-huh. Nice. Yeah, I'm an expert at Overwatch. Why do I feel like you're lying, but okay. I'm good at everything I do. No, you're not. Uh, name one <laughs> thing I'm bad at. Impersonation. Hey, it's me, Aku Miyawi. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> oh, that's not your Thank cue you. to just do an impersonation of me! <laughs> No, no. <clears throat> hey, it's me, Aku Miyawi. Ew! <laughs> Thank you for your one and only Prime sub. <laughs> not that deep. I think I could do your laugh. Can you laugh for me really quick? Uh, I can't just laugh on command. You guys, make him laugh. Say something funny. <gasps> you know what make me laugh? What? Is if you call me worthless. That'd be so funny. <laughs> that is bullshit. You just want a free fucking life. <laughs> <line. laughs> <laughs> All right, there's the laugh. You guys, he laughs like this. <laughs> you can't even do it. Because it makes me laugh when I try. <laughs> hey, it's me, Aku Miyawi. You logs, you're so uncool and unbased. Bro, it's been over 10 minutes. Why am I still here? <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't even get you to do the thing. What thing? Instead, you were just trying to gaslight me to think I have ADHD. You actually have ADHD? What do you mean? I don't think I'm, I do, I'm helping though. you. I'm, oh my god, you're in such deep denial. You're in such deep I mean, like, denial. if I had it, you know, I'm like already 30 years old, I probably would have found out already, you know? But some people find out way later in life. Dude, is this why I can't stick to a diet? Yes. <laughs> you know, I've tried to diet, like, actually over a hundred times. Well, and I just keep trying. Diet. I never the stop trying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's a whole different spectrum, but th that could be possibly ADHD too. But you know, I'll take that with a grain of salt though. <laughs> Diets no, like shit, the reason so. I work out so much is so that mm -hmm. because I can't stick to a diet. And if I didn't work out a lot, I'd probably be like 600 pounds. Well, working out's good though. Yeah, I work out six days a week. Most people don't have to. It's easier to work out than it is to just like stick to a diet for me. I used to run well, like five miles a day. But, but working out's better because when it comes to diets, you're basically gonna have to keep up that diet for the rest of your life and that's nearly impossible. That's very, very difficult. I mean, some people- It's not, like it. my friend Sarah, she um she ballooned like up 50 pounds cause she like was on like a bad um uh, birth control. And so she stopped yeah. and she was able to lose all 50 pounds like within a couple of months. And I was like, how did you do it, Sarah? And she's like, oh, I just like starved myself and just drank lots of water. What the fuck? That is not the healthy way to do it. Oh my god. And I was like, dude, how the fuck did you do that? That is not it. I can't do that. I wish I could do that. And then I get like a compulsion to like, you know, get Taco Bell and then I get it. That's... That's horrible. That's actually so bad. I hope I hope she's okay and she's properly eating. Cause, mm, um, well... Because here's the thing. Even if she did lose that weight, right? She was she fine. Started... Oh, she, she did she start eating okay. food again. And once she lost all the weight. She, yeah, she lost the weight, but did she gain any more back after eating properly again? Uh, no, she was skinny until she died. Oh! Logs! You can't be like this! Logs! <laughs> that is not okay! Not on stream! Oh, what do you want me to say? Logs, I didn't even know this was the friend! I only have two friends! Logs, no! Oh no! Don't worry, I'm, I'm over it. I was only sad for three and a half weeks. Logs, I'm gonna fucking. I'm, I don't know, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bang my head against something. What the fuck, dude? What? I'm sorry. Oh, oh shit. did you see that I one didn't... clip of that dude, uh, the streamer going off on a someone in chat for trauma dumping on him? 
Oh yeah, that shit made me so mad. He's garbage. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wow, that's way too much. Oh, it's like I totally have... get like the sentiment. Yeah. Because I had people come and chat before, and they would say something, you know, like, "Hey, my my best friend died" or something. Uh huh. And then other people in chat will not stop talking about it. They'll be like, "Oh, you're okay?" You're like, "Oh, that's that's so sad." You know, I'll mention it too. I was like, "Yeah, that that does suck. Like that's that's terrible." But like, you know, I'm trying to entertain people over here. Like, what do I do? It's such an awkward situation. It, it, it is, but he didn't have to. He said a whole lot of bullshit that he really didn't have to say. He could've yeah, been, he like, went way too far. Like, I agree. Like, I, I understand the far. sentiment, but I don't, you know, like, agree with everything he said. Yeah, I was like, bro, why do you have to actually, like, actually have to be an asshole? Just say what you gotta say and then be like, hey, so, you know... These are the rules. Let's not do that. But yeah. No, he, he turned out to be an asshole, so. Yeah, he was just a, he was a big old asshole about it. He yeah. hyperfixed it on being sad and got distracted by something else. No, no, no. One day, I was just no longer sad. It was great. I just woke up one day, and I just wasn't sad anymore. Um. Well, I mean, it's more like I used to be, you know, like on a scale of 10 mm -hmm. out of... You know, out of 10, I used to be 10 out of 10 sad every day. And then uh -huh. one day I woke up and I was only 2 out of 10. And I was like, oh my god, I can function again. That's this is great. Though. That's progress. Yeah. Mm. What'd you say? Oh, I you couldn't hear you. I said that's progress. That's good. <sighs> I know. I try very hard not to talk about it. But you kept asking, like, how she was doing and as she's still skinny. And I was like, uh, how the hell do I say oh, this? <laughs> 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 The way you kind of just <laughs> said it, <laughs> it's like I got hit by a fucking truck, okay? What was I <laughs> supposed to? No what would you say in that it. situation? <laughs> I was trying not to say it, but you kept asking. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I was like, it's my fault. <laughs> <God> <laughs> yeah. damn. I tried to steer the conversation the away, but you kept asking. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you automatically guess? Every time, man. No, dude, someone, someone could show you the clip. That's exactly what happened. Oh, my God. <coughs> Let the man tell... I don't want to tell the story. <laughs> dude, I lost half of my concurrent viewership because I wouldn't shut up about it after it happened. I used to have, like, an average of, like, uh, 800 to 1,000 people. And, you know... <laughs> Most of them left because that is not something you want to come to a Yu-Gi-Oh stream to, to listen to, you know? Yeah, because you're wild and yeah. you're focusing on... on you, you're oversharing. Oh, yeah, oversharing is another thing about ADC, by the way. Oh. Is it really? Oh, here he goes. He's like, oh, fuck, that's me, man. Dude, yes. my middle name is oversharing. Yeah, well, there you go. Yes, <laughs> oversharing is one of the things as well. <laughs> Which male VTuber was this? Wait, what male VTuber? And losing track of time, by the way, which is, it's been over 10 minutes for me, boys. Um, <laughs> way over 10 Oh, minutes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know you had something we're in, busy to go to. Yeah, I actually gotta get stuff ready. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm pretty sure you like you do actually have stuff to do. Like, I don't want to impede on your time too much. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know what I was dragged in here for. You were just like, you want to talk? And I'm like, I got 10 minutes, I guess. Yeah, you got like uh, 10 minutes to just talk about how... Um... Shit, do you no. think I actually have ADHD? Yes, oh my god. If you keep asking me this, I'm going to tell you. I'm not even joking. Like, if I'm going to be dead ass right now, yes, I actually believe you have ADHD. I truly believe you have ADHD. I don't know. I'm not really convinced. I have to think about it. What the fuck? I feel like no matter what I say, you know, it's like uh, you, <laughs> you make some you good points. You, you literally asked me. You're just like, I don't know, man. I gotta think. About I just it. like think because I have, I have lots of friends with ADHD, and they have like you know much more severe problems than I do. Uh. But like this would explain so much about you know all of my problems that I have. Awesome. Once you settle all those problems. Then you can think about. Well, they're not the big problems though. That's why I didn't think it was really that big a deal. Okay, once you finish thinking about all those small problems, then you can think about the ADHD <laughs> stuff. Okay, oh, Jesus. No. <laughs> <laughs> but like, if I have so many friends with ADHD, why did none of them like suspect? I don't know. I, I don't, not everyone's gonna be like up in your face, like, "Hey, you got ADHD." I'm just. I'm just saying, man. It's just oh my god, you're right. It's because everybody else is like super, like, uh, 
They're, they're, they're overly nice to me. You're the one who's not. This is why no. you're my favorite. No, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, like, I think, I think what... I think it's just a me thing, because I notice that I, I can easily talk to and be entertained by other people that have ADHD. Mmm. Oh, so you think like, wow, this dude is so entertaining, he's so cool and funny, he must have ADHD. No, not like that. It, no, that's not... No, now you're putting words in my mouth. That's no, not I'm just like put. saying, you know, I'm just adding some extra stuff to it to give context a chat so they understand you better. No, you're just fluffing this for yourself. <laughs> it's funny, you bitch. It's more of... It's, it's, it's the fact that it's because I can tell when people are really good at um, holding up conversations, like jumping from topic to topic, uh -huh. um, and they also do like content, like creator stuff. I've noticed that a lot of people do have ADHD in this kind of realm and world. And so I kind of assumed you had it too. Mm -hmm. And it's been apparent in our conversation <laughs> that you have a lot of things <laughs> that are caused from ADHD, but you're just in denial about it. But um, It I'm is true. I did think it was odd how like every single friend I have in the content creation sphere has ADHD. They're very entertaining, aren't they? I guess, like, because the thing is, in order to be a content creator, you have to be a little bit weird because, like, you put yourself out there and normal people can't handle criticism. Mm -hmm. So, like, there's just so many barriers to entry. Like, if you can handle criticism, because people are so afraid to try, they don't even start in the first place. Mm -hmm. And, like, if you do actually start and do all that stuff, you know, then you'll, like, get stopped by, like, getting one piece of criticism and you'll just be, like, devastated. By it, or you won't get noticed because of the algorithms and stuff. Mm -hmm. There's just like so many things that are just against you when you started out that you kind of have to like hyper focus on a little bit. Which would probably explain why so many people with ADHD are like content creators because they're the ones who were able to actually stick it out. Exactly, and they're creative. And they're creative and hilarious. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, mm -hmm. and smart yeah. and funny. Yeah, okay, hold on, chill out. And cool and mysterious. <laughs> okay, stop this. This is all. This is you. This is what you want to be. Stop it. <laughs> just stop. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Like these are these are all these these people. You know, like yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. Wait, that would explain the brain fog too. Yeah, brain fog, frog, frog, fog, <laughs> frog, fog is a, a part of ADHD. I just thought this was like a stress condition. Because oh, I know Leah fog. said she has that too. Like whenever she doesn't take her meds. Oh yeah, me too, yep. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ooh, yeah, I experience that like at least once a week. It's, it's bad, yep. Mm -hmm. okay. But I'm pretty sure that's just normal. Like, yeah, see, people are here like saying they, they all have that too. Her ADHD meds. Okay, I don't actually want to keep you because you probably have to go and do stuff. Oh, I'm, I'm like so poor. You know, you know what's another thing about ADHD? What? Really poor with time management. My, my time management shit is so fucking bad. <laughs> Like, was mine. This, and I can talk about anything. I think this is why I'm a pro just chatter man. Like, yeah, I can ADHD. talk forever about nothing. I can absolutely, a hundred percent. It is the ADHD thriving. Yes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if we sat down and just had a stream where we just didn't have any schedule, any topics, yep. I can guarantee you I could keep the conversation going for like all day. Me too. And man. if you could do that too, then like, yeah, that would be like easy. Easy fucking twenty four hour subathon, boys. <laughs> right yeah, twenty four hour subathon of just it's talking right to me. Are <laughs> we trying I'm to kidding. get you to call me cool? <laughs> no, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, the I, cool I know you would never say it. You know. What? Yeah. Say what? Say say uh oh nothing. One day, one day you're gonna get it out of me, and it's gonna be genuine. It's gonna be, gen and you're not. <sighs> it's gonna. You're not even gonna realize it, dude. You're just gonna be like. You're probably never going to hear it. You're probably going to forget it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I can guarantee you I won't forget it. <laughs> right, because you're going to hyper-focus on it and be like, damn, she really said it. <laughs> and <then> it <laughs> I played on loop for hours. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hyper-focus. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I don't actually do that. That'd be weird. <laughs> but yeah, cause my, my, my community has infiltrated yours. So if you say it, they'll totally clip it and send it to me. Yeah, I've noticed that. I'm like... Why, why his community is here too, and I guess they're a part of my community now, right? Is that how this yeah. works? Yeah. Is that how this whole fucking stream No, 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 it works? doesn't work that way unless the other person is also entertaining. Like, I can guarantee you there's people I interact with that they don't, like, infiltrate because mm -hmm. they're not as entertaining as you are. 
You know, you're like an exception. Aw, that's wholesome. I'm no, that's just like, wholesome back to you. that is the cutthroat world of content creation. You can send oh, someone yeah. a raid, but that doesn't mean they're actually going to stick around and watch. Yeah, of course. Yeah, or, yeah. you know, just like follow or anything. You have to be entertaining in order to keep them there. Wait, I have a question for you. What? I have a really good question. This is just a curiosity. Curiosity. Mm -hmm. You know how you can hide your viewers while you're streaming? Like how, how many viewers? Yeah. Do you hide that? Or do you I do that? on this stream because it's stressful. But ah, I don't do it on the secret stream. Okay, because every time I ask someone that, they're so surprised when I tell them, I keep it on because it's uh -huh. never bugged me. It's never bugged me, no matter how low or how high it gets. Yeah, I used to be fine too for like a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, there's 411 people here? Really? <laughs> Why are you. So Don't see the number in chat. That's, That's fine. <laughs> no, I'm not going to fucking freak out. No, no, like yeah. the reason I have it hidden. Is because like, you know, sometimes it'll go up, you know, randomly or sometimes it'll go down randomly when I'm doing yeah, stuff. Yeah. And then I start thinking like, wait, why did it just go down so much? What did I do? Yeah. And it's, it's distracting. Like it doesn't bother me, but it is distracting. It's like, I don't need distractions here because I'm mm. doing something. But over on the other stream, I don't give a shit. Like sometimes it goes up to like a hundred randomly. Sometimes it drops to like, I don't know, 30 or 20. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was like, I don't give a fuck because I'm just going to keep talking about myself the whole time because like, that's not the point of the stream. I'm not trying mm -hmm. to keep people around. I'm just trying to talk about myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your stream vibe is very similar to my secret stream, so I can get why the number doesn't bother you either. Yeah. Like, I've never been bothered by the numbers because, you know, I ask people and they're like, why, like, why do you turn it off? And, you know, the most common answer is like, I don't want to feel pressured by the number you know seeing it on yeah. like, the lower days or like seeing on the high days and get stressed by like a lot of people watching and i'm like you know what i think that's interesting because i can thrive off of whatever number i see because i stream for myself mm -hmm. i stream for my entertainment and happiness so that's why it's never bugged me and like people are like what <laughs> you keep that on i'm like yeah because it's never bugged me it's never it's truly has never bugged me because i stream for just for myself so yeah. It's kind of cool to hear input when, when I ask that question. Like, do you turn it off? Do you keep it on? <laughs> Some days do you keep it on or do you keep it off? So, yeah, I just wanted to know. I yeah, I remember it. one time specifically. Wait, losing numbers, increased quality because I'm here. How goes the climb? <gasps> it's MBT. Whoa. He's one of the big Yu-Gi-Oh! content creators. Hello, big Yu-Gi-Oh! content creator. You can tell because he has that check mark. I was watching his stream earlier today. Nice the climb is going great. I'm losing every match because I'm playing a gimmick deck. <laughs> But I remember one time I was playing this one deck uh, on like the, the YouTube stream and I had like 1500 people in chat and it kept climbing and it like almost reached like 2000. I was like, why is there so many people here? Mm -hmm. And I was playing this deck that was a gimmick. It was basically like, um, people in chat will know, it's called Infernal Tempest OTK. And the combo is not that hard to get off, but like my opponents, they kept just stopping it and it kept stressing me out. And I saw the number kept climbing. I was like, oh no, there's so much pressure. To, to get off this combo and when I finally got the combo off like I could feel my heart in my chest it was like I was, I was almost like I was back in football like making like a, a huge play or something just because the number kept going up and it was like up to like 2500 and then I got the combo off finally and I thought I was gonna pass out from the pressure Aww. I was like what the fuck is wrong with me this is just fucking streaming we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh but like my body was stressed out yeah 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 and it's like, you know, sometimes things that stress you out aren't exactly, like, logical. Mm -hmm. So, like, that's I mean, why... That's reasonable, though. That's a lot of people. That's yeah, it was a lot of people. A lot. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it was that like... that situation, I would, too. I Honestly, I think I would, too. I'd be like, holy fuck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I just hide the numbers so, like, that's not a factor. Otherwise, I could have <laughs> just played. There'd be people, and it's like, whatever. Who gives a shit? I'm doing my combo. Yeah. It'll go off if I ever don't. It's like the fact that it gives me any kind of stress at all, even if I can handle it, it's just like, you know, easier to hide it. Mm -hmm. But then on the other stream where it doesn't matter, you know, I, don't, I have it shown because I don't care. It's okay. You're doing great. Regardless, you're doing great. Wait, what'd you say? So you're doing great. This is the only wholesome thing you get out of me, okay, you fucker. This is the only fucking thing <laughs> you're doing. You're doing great. Why, thank you. Yeah. What Look exactly you. am I doing great? Driving. I don't know, I'm not looking at you. You're fucking thriving. Wait, what? Yeah. You're thriving. You're thriving as a content creator. You should be so proud of yourself, man. Why, thank <laughs> you. Nobody ever tells me that. 
I can't tell if you're lying to me right now. You're no, I'm like, not. You <laughs> <laughs> like you gaslight me so much, I can't tell if you're being genuine anymore. <laughs> no, like I've been, <laughs> I've been doing this for so long. I've been like, you know, doing it full time for a really long time. I've also been like moderately successful for so long that people just take it as a given. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, whatever. So no one ever says anything about it. I guess I'm going to genuinely praise you now. <gasps> I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. But Go no, you're, you're on. actually doing great. No, <laughs> He's like, that's right. Gassy, I'm right the fuck. <laughs> no, you're actually doing so great. Trust me. You're, you're doing amazing. What, what, what specifically it. am I doing well? What do you mean? Look at you. You have a whole fucking community that just follows you. Uh huh. And just watches you and supports you no matter how stupid you are. So. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like the entertaining thing. Like if you weren't stupid, if you're just actually just boring all the time, no one would watch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you're great. Like exactly. how many streamers do you know? Like you know, are actually just monotone the whole time. It aren't professional gamers. <laughs> I was gonna say you, but you know I can't really say that. <laughs> <laughs> are we supposed to be watching this? <laughs> what do you mean, MVT? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in front of my salad. Oh, because I'm like fishing for compliments from you. Oh. He's oh, no. being baby right now. I'm sorry, guys. I'll leave. I know. I was supposed to leave like how many minutes ago again? <laughs> I, keep Wait, like, like, I keep adding like I 10 minutes. I think it's been minutes. almost an hour. Why are you making. Okay, so Voltic Bicorn mills five cards at the top of both players' decks, which benefits me both ways because I get runic cards in the grave and my opponent mills their deck more. I swear, it's just as bad as it sounds. <laughs> Mr. Logs Crybaby. Uh, no, I was just, um, you know, talking about normal things with my new friend who I met a week ago. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is awful. Don't make it, don't say it like that. <laughs> I can't believe you put up with me. It's because you're fun to talk to. I know, right? Am I just gonna if I just gonna gas you up this entire entire time before I leave? You're gonna you're gonna <laughs> eat this shit up and you're gonna think about it so much. What I exactly mean, is fun to talk before. to you about? I've I've said this before, and I think I've also told someone this. I'm like, it, if I if I can vibe with someone, that's all that matters. That's truly I don't care who they are. If I can talk to them, if I can keep up conversations, if I feel like I've known them for such a long time and it's so easy to get along with them, then I am okay with them. That's why you're just like, when you apologize, was it yesterday? Uh -huh. You're like, I'm sorry. And I'm like, why are you apologizing? <laughs> and you're like, because I, I'm so annoying or something like that. And I'm like, no, you're not. I mean, you are, but, yeah, <laughs> but, but it's, it's the annoying that I can tolerate. So <laughs> Good. So you mean I, 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 I hold back enough? Is what you're saying. Okay, should I be afraid now? I <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do anything weird. <laughs> what? You can take all these compliments. <gasps> Why, thank you. I will think about these for the rest of the day. You're welcome. Oh my god, you actually just said you're welcome instead of saying something mean back? Do you want me to say something mean back? No, of course not. Okay. Then we'll end it on good terms. To on wholesomeness? <laughs> yeah. Are you okay? I'm gonna, Are you sick? I'm gonna. <laughs> I mean, you saw my mental health shit on that fucking <laughs> that rating thing that I. You did. had the same rating as me. I oh, actually won I again. Know. Four out of ten. Yeah, we both have four out of ten. Yeah, yeah the Aku Meow. Okay, I really don't want to keep you too long because I think you had something to do. I don't remember if you said you didn't or not. Fucking said that like three times already. I don't <laughs> remember <clear>. the answer. <laughs> <laughs> we, just, we were we were already established just like three times and i'm still here all right i'm actually gonna go you guys thank you for having me logs um yeah enjoy the rest of your stream the, the stream chat. was supposed to end like an hour ago oh fuck go end your stream i guess I yeah i'm gonna end the stream <laughs> <laughs> all right wait are you ya. gonna actually end stream yeah i'm gonna end the stream <laughs> i'm gonna send a raid right now do I stay? What am I, what am I doing? Do I just leave? Like, what? I mean, what you I can do? just leave because, like, as soon as we're done, I'm gonna like go to. I have a whole bunch of shit to do because I have to go on a leave to a trip tomorrow. All right, I'm gonna dip before you dip. All right, bye, chat. You also th thank you, Trevor, for for the the tier one. Thank All you right. so much. Yes, <laughs> thanks for the tier one sub. Much okay, appreciated. Bye, bye logs. Oh, can you say the thing when you when people sub to you? 
Oh, thank- Oh, thank you so much, Trevor, for tier one subbing. I hope you enjoy your emotes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is not my fucking stream. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> bye, you guys. I think they'd appreciate life. you saying that more than me. <laughs> Honestly. Alright, bye. <laughs> bye. Okay. Night, y'all. I gotta go. I have actually, like, a whole bunch of shit to do. I've just been, like, so... Uh, no, I did most of it, actually, now that I think about it. I wasn't that unproductive today. And the bicorn mill didn't mill a single time, but it did get people to surrender before I could mill. So that's basically the same as winning with the mill. Even though everybody just banished the bicorn or bounced it, uh, I, I think it only ever proc its effect a single time out of, like, three hours of duels. Have a safe trip. <gasps> I hope I have a safe trip, too. Don't forget the email. Oh, fuck, I forgot about the email. It's an email from, like, a big gaming company. Hmm. It is a wonderful opportunity. And I keep forgetting to reply to it. I hope they don't get mad that I take, like, days to reply. <laughs> uh, let's see. Who's on right now? Mini? Mini's still on? Who else is on? Yeah, we'll go over to Mini. Say hello to Mini for me. Streaming on the trip or vacay? Uh, I was thinking about maybe streaming on the trip, but depends. Hotel internet usually sucks, so that's probably not going to happen. I'll just see you guys in four days. Goodbye.